hey what's up guys welcome to this new episode so if you're looking to set up HTTP injector on your iOS device you've landed on the right video so in today's video I will be giving you a quick overview of this HTTP injector on iOS how you can possibly set the app for free internet access okay so without any further ado let's end this tutorial Alright, as always, I would like to emphasize on the fact that this video is strictly for educational purposes only and neither we nor this channel is going to be held responsible for any misuse of this content. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're using the HTTP injector, the latest version of this application, okay? If you haven't installed it yet, you can go to your app store and search for it to install it. So, just open your app store just like so, come on the search tab and search for HTTP injector. Just like so. And then, you click on the HTTP injector that pulls up, alright? For sure, this app has... Um, a few requirements um, from iOS devices. I think it should run on if it's for iPhone, iPhone should be in as for iOS let's say 15 and same for iPad OS. Okay, so you should just make sure that this app is compatible with your iOS device before even trying to install it. Okay, so once you've installed it, just click on this open button right here. Great, so this is how the app looks like at a glance, right? So if you go to the different tabs there, you will notice that it is quite similar to what we have on Android, only with the difference that Android is more elaborated and sophisticated, okay? Let's take for example these diagnostics tools, okay? You see, it only gives a few different, and for the debug mode, turning this on is actually going to give you access to more features in the lock, okay? So I always want to keep this one on, alright? So now, this is how our app looks like, right? Here you select the tunnel methods, just on, like on mobile. You will see there is a uh, tunnel type, you have secure shell, x-ray, v2-ray, hysteria and shadow socks, okay? So we'll be covering just a few of these ones, probably the ones that work well, which is secure shell and v2-ray for the purpose of this tutorial, alright? And then from the connect from you also see the different methods that you can go about to use to make sure that your connection is actually the best right so you're done for the overview now let's navigate to the different tunnel types okay for the tunnel type we're going to start with the direct okay ssh and then the tunnel type here should be make sure it is at secure shell just like so and then connect from can see direct connection right you just save this one okay this is just a basic ssh connection and if you try to start it start the connection is not going to be successful because you haven't set up an ssh account let's pull up to setting up an ssh account so i just had this ssh account set up at ssh ssh ocean and you can also get it you can also get an account from them within from the link in the video description okay so once you come on the site you create a an ssh account make sure that the protocols are actually the ones that work best for your internet type okay you can see the ssh the the proxies you have 22 80 443 which is actually the ports that are actually interesting in direct connection especially in an ssh connection so just come ahead and create your ssh account okay after creating account this is how it should look like you want to copy the host name the username the password which is what we actually need okay and after copying those you come to the app let's inject the app and then you click on this gear icon right here okay you can click on the secure shell and then you will see the ssh account that's the fields that you are where you have to put in the ssh account details as you can see i've already set up these fields with the account i created earlier for the purpose of time to save time for the port i let it at 80 which i can also use port 443 all work for all still work based for ssh and username password as well okay so after doing this one after adding your account you just want to click on this start button 
just like so and then you want to allow HTTP injector to add VPN configurations to your device so just toggle on this okay you have to verify okay SSH under development will be unstable and contains bug you understand this switch to the lock great we are connected through the direct connection you can see this VPN pull up direct CD yeah on the top right corner of the screen just like so okay so if you come to the lock you see all the details that you need to know now let's move to the next method so for the next connect form we're going to be choosing something different okay but still under ssh tunnel type okay for this connect form make sure that you select tls ssl s tunnel okay i'm just going to cover the most frequently used connection methods that are actually working right now this s tunnel is actually sni tunnel okay just click on the save just like so and you can see the server name where we have to enter our server name details but be careful the account that we created earlier the ssh account that we created earlier might not probably work with this but we'll still try on with this account okay so you just want to enter a server name identification name enter something let's say so after entering your snails just click on start to see whether this and the SSH account is gonna work very probably down on it as you can see in the lock report error so that's probably due to the server right as you can see the TLS handshake was not possible so just stop this one and then we head back to our account provider so as Ella mentioned we'll be using SSH SSH Ocean for the purpose of this tutorial because the accounts are right now they are typically fast as compared to other providers like fast SSH okay so this is the account that we need to create right now just click on this create account this SSH account external okay that's on the main side of SSH Ocean so now we need to select a server necessary server so i'm going to select this first one for the purpose of this guy you can select the one of your choice making sure that it's online as well so i'll just click on this create account button right here create account okay so just enter the username and password So after entering your account details, just click on this create now. And your account should be created within minutes, okay? Within seconds. So these are the details that we have to cover, the server, the username, and the password. So just copy it out. You can copy it and save it in your notepad or somewhere. So after copying your account details, get back to your injector and click on this three dot icon, SSH settings. From here, you want to update this to the account details that we entered earlier, okay? So after pasting your account details, just go back and then click on the start button, okay? Go to the lock to see the connection. At times, it might show error, 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 and then it finishes it finish by getting connected. Okay, as you can see we are actually connected after a couple of tries so this is just it this is the lock and you can see VPN toggle on here okay so that's how you get to use it with the SSL TLS tunnel okay so now let's look to let's move to the next common tunnel type under the SSH category okay so we have um, connect from DNS TT okay the NSTC is, is quite a slow tunnel method, but it is variable in some conditions, especially where you are located in an area where the providers are very strict with their connections. Okay, so we just want to click on this DNS tunnel and then save, just like so. So next, you have to create a DNS account. Okay, just come to the same page and to the same 
SSH origin and search for and select the DNS account instead. Okay, and select the server. Now you have to enter your username. Just in so after creating your account, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, you have the host name, the name server, the username and password, and of course you have the public key, right? So what the information that I interest that interests us here, we have the name server and the DNS public key. Okay, so just copy the two of those. You can copy the two of those onto your clipboard and then proceed with the steps as you see on the screen. So after copying those information, that information just come onto this settings gear again and then this time select DNS TT, right? The DNS name server, you want to paste the name server that I highlighted earlier, right? Just paste that name server right here, just like so. And then now you need to paste your public key, okay? So you just have to go and copy this one right back. right then get back to sp injector and paste that public key just like so click save okay you get back go back and then all you have to do is to click on start to initiate the connection just click on that start button right there and of course as always go to the lock to see if everything works right there and then we can see it is connection and server message is ssh ocean showing that we are actually connected to ssh ocean dns server all right so that's it for the dns setup okay so next we'll be moving to the next unit type which is v2ray okay in this v2ray just let everything as it is and then click on save just like so okay but you don't can you can't just click on the start you have to set up a v2ray account right so let's get this one done so still on ssh ocean you have to select the v2ray account that you want to create but i always recommend you create the vms account because this one combines performance and reliability at the same time okay unlike vls that only focuses on the speed okay so vms does a compilation of the v of the speed reliability and also the stability right so just click on this create account for vms scroll you select the server make sure that you choose a server that's actually available i love choosing from these european servers because they usually tend to be available as you can see just click on create account okay here yeah, things get even interesting all right you have the username you enter a username okay and then the sni host is actually the host that this feature server is going to is going to actually use for the injection okay so this sni host if you don't have a working sni host for your visual connection or whatever connection you're using then you can get the link to the to our sni host generator from the video description you will get updated sni host for your country so make sure you check that one out so once you have your sni host just make sure you enter the i will type something random okay just like so and then you can choose whether the host should be let that way or it should reverse to an ad ip address okay so i want to let it to be this way but if for more stability or reliability you can reverse it to a to an ip address right so just create the account tap on that create account button right there so now after setting up your p 3 account and creating it just want to click on this settings gear again and then this time you select v2ray okay and then the core of course v2ray the protocol vms let's say to vms don't select vms vms okay and then you want to click on this paper tray icon here to import your config okay just click on this paste to let it do its work and just like so we see all the details have been imported automatically so you just want to go back back okay 
now all you have to do is to click on the start button and if you had everything set up properly you should be able to see this connected right away and you see the vpn toggle up right all right so these are the only two tunnel types that are available for the http injector ios app okay so unlike the android app you have only access to you will be you are only able to use two tunnel types in this http injector ios app including the secure shell and the victory okay as for the history and shadow socks they are actually coming soon and also for the custom payload you can't generate the custom payload as of this video okay so if i see let me see i select this shadow socks and try to select an option from here and then click save you see please select ssh of v2 shadow socks is coming soon and i'm pretty sure if i do the same for hysteria just like so then i even click save it should probably work okay but since this is still a new tunnel type that's been tested in this app i wouldn't always recommend you to use this tunnel type okay unless you are of course skilled into it right so as i was saying you can only use the secure shell and v2 ray for tunnel connections which are the most common tunnel types that we know out there right and don't forget that uh, when using the secure shell you actually need an active host if you don't have a host for your country i've provided a link to the sni host generator or to the host on payload generator in the video description that you can just check and then get working host for your country to secure your internet connection all right so we've come to the end of our video guys if you found if you actually found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell icon to not miss any upcoming updates from me all right i catch you in the next episode